and let me know if you guys can hear me or not. We're going to start a little bit early. Hopefully that won't bother anybody. Hopefully you can hear me. You guys can hear me? Get my chat set right here. So we started up, we're going to do a little corn harvest here. Hello everyone. Hopefully everyone has uh, enjoying being out of school. Hopefully everyone is not sick. And if you are sick, I hope you are practicing high five. That is one disease that I hope no one has to get. Hello everyone. Hello Adam. Hey, thank you, Brandon. Much appreciated. So we are 80s farming here. Thank you, Brandon Sheets. That's pretty cool. Really appreciate that. Where did I get that combine? Uh, hmm, you're probably going to make me say it wrong, but I... Oh, where? It's like at the tip of my tongue. Oh, man. I'm going to remember it. Uh, no, it was produced from 1989 to 1997. I know I get that a lot, but I looked it up. So it is made in the 80s. So this combine was started being produced in 1989. So you can uh, see a few of them for sale, 1989, 9600s. I just love the interior of this combine. I mean, uh, look at that detail right there, the detail up above. Uh, the detail inside this combine is like impressive. Hello, Adam Watts. Hello from Minnesota. Hey, uh, I have a question. It's just more because I'm curious. Is anybody in school right now? Your grandpa has one, a 9600. That's pretty cool. I've always liked the way the 9600s look. That chime you just heard is basically... I think we're over a half full. Yeah, I enjoy playing FS19. You were out three weeks. Yeah, I know some people are out basically the whole year. Some people are three weeks, which in my opinion is probably a little wishful thinking. But it could be, I guess. You never know. Is, uh... I know it hasn't really hit our city where I live at currently very hard, so there's less than probably 10 cases citywide. So uh, in my opinion, that isn't bad yet. I know some cities out there have like 200 cases or some. So in the city, they really shut down. Missed a few stocks here. Oh, 
Gear Farms is out for the rest of the year. Yeah, I know a few people are out for the rest of the year, which is understandable. I guess, do you still have to do homeschooling? I saw a few jokes on, uh, I think it was Facebook that said, uh, first day of homeschool, one student tardy, one student expelled. Thought it was pretty funny. I bet a lot of, uh, Parents are appreciating teachers right now. We are backing up here. I'm trying to get some of my inrows done. This field is huge. I'm going to back up here and then I'm going to run over to our uh, grain cart. I'm running over corn here. Huge field. Uh, Trayton, you better watch it. I'll ban you. Dodge Boy, no school for, in Minnesota. Yeah, I heard Minnesota statewide uh, 9600 was made in 1989 I know it's commonly mistaken but look it up I looked it up many times because I made sure I wasn't wrong am I gonna play on FSN yes I am but uh to be honest, there isn't anything to do on there. No one wants to watch me uh, go spread fertilizer. So, Dennis, no school for you? That's cool. Hey, Matthew. No school in Arkansas. Yeah, it's really amazing how uh, this can really shut down. When I'm driving to work in the morning, it's almost creepy. It's almost creepy driving to work. It's, uh, no one's on the road. Everyone's basically, uh, at home, staying safe. Which is kind of nice because it's a nice relaxing drive, but it's almost eerie. Alright, we gotta unload our grain cart. We'll look at some of our equipment over here while we're at it. Start up our old tractor here. No school in Missouri. What is my favorite tractor in real life? Uh, that's a hard question. So, I would probably say my favorite tractor just because it's my most memorable tractor because I rode in it a lot as a child is a 7140 Magnum. Uh, if you guys don't know, we kind of upgraded our uh, International Eagle here. Get our... So we got this International Eagle. Getting caught there. Put a sleeper on it. Put a new paint job on it. And we got a new uh, Travis dump wagon or dump trailer for the back. No school in New York? That's pretty cool. I heard New York, yeah, that's that's uh, 
New York people, they're really suffering. What we really have to uh, support is uh, like the seasonal workers and everything, uh, the waitresses. Like uh, I know my wife is out of, out of uh, work right now, so my wife is a dental hygienist, so you, that's pretty uh, acceptable for transmitting the, the disease. Sorry, I got caught in something. I don't know what's going on here. Something crazy is going on on the server. what that's about. Yeah, it's going all haywire there. Drive this back over here. Tell you what, we could really use some help right now. Unload the rest of this. No school in Germany. That's pretty cool. Uh, I heard, uh, is Germany a uh, category three country? I haven't been paying too much attention to the updates. Oh, Bob the Cow, no South Dakota, we don't have school. Yeah, I don't, I'd be a mate. Is anybody really in school? I'd be pretty surprised. Like, I, I really wanna know if anybody is in school right now it'd be pretty cool if I guess you were when are you going to play FSN with Grant and Buck so I was just on FSN not too long last night so I haven't edited that video yet, so I need to get that edited. Uh, to be honest, FSN, there's limitations for content creators. Like right now, there's nothing to do on FSN. Like, I don't think no one wants to watch me spread fertilizer on a field. So that's why I'm not on FSN right now. That's only thing to do on FSN. No school in Wisconsin. How long am I going to stream? I, I think maybe a, at least an hour and a half. I'm going to try to at least. As long as you guys continuously want to watch, I'll still stream. Uh, to be honest, my tummy is a little starting to grumble, so I might start, uh, might have to feed it. So I don't think you guys want to hear that on the stream, but thank you, uh, Dirk Dillman like spike yeah uh, like I said I'll try to be stream for an hour and a half at least I'm gonna try to withhold my hunger for an hour and a half farming simulator boss just started a YouTube channel today that's pretty cool that's the perfect thing to do get out of school early for the year and start a YouTube channel I encourage everyone to start a YouTube channel. So if you guys don't know my story, I started YouTube uh, last year. So I've been doing it just over like a year or so. And uh, Grant found me and now he has me post on his channel. 
Thank you, custom modding fan. No school in Michigan or Minnesota. Minnesota, sorry. Yeah, where are all the Tennessee people at? I'm gonna do some, uh, do you guys want me to do, uh, inside the cab or outside the cab? I'll leave that up to you. Hey, Connor, thank welcome to the stream. Ooh, somebody's from middle middle Tennessee here. Yep. Uh Daniel, that's what happened basically to my wife. She she's a dental hygienist so if you don't know this uh, disease out there is basically spread a lot by saliva so obviously dental hygienists and all that needs to close down to help the spread no school in Alabama Inside, inside, getting a lot of insides. I saw some outsides earlier. Shout out. I think I'm gonna go back inside. Uh, my assessment was the inside one. You see this, uh, Basically, this uh, header, when you go down, it kind of doesn't follow the intake. A little weird, but I just love the inside of this cab. Whoever did this mod did a great job. So, I've actually rid a lot in a 9600. No, I rid a lot in a 9610, sorry road a lot proper English there uh, no I do not live in a farm I'm actually in the military so that's why I'm streaming so late because obviously unfortunately I am not out of work right now running over corn. Yeah, it sure seems like we should hit our little spot we're cutting out here soon. There we go. What branch? I am in the Air Force. Thank you, Austin Lee Miller. Thank you. The real people we have to thank nowadays is probably the truckers, the people that haul across state lines, obviously everyone in the healthcare. They are uh, the true uh, service before self individuals non-selfish individuals in the world right now no school in Niagara Falls good luck on your YouTube channel by the way Allison man I, I keep getting asked that where do I get this mod and I Oh man, it's right at the tip of my tongue. Man, where? I know I got it from Facebook. I'm trying to think of the name of the Facebook site. Somebody knows. 
please uh, put it in the comments. We're back up a little bit. We're a little bit close right there. Ooh, Tennessee, yeah. Heard Tennessee. Yep. North Carolina. Yep. North Carolina is close to where I live. Yeah, it might be on uh, modhub.us. I like Sid Modding is working on a 9600. You're correct. I did not get this from Sid Modding. Uh, I don't. Oh, yep, that's who it is. Tired Iron Modding. If you guys want to see this, uh, find this harvester, you can find it on Tired Iron Modding. I think I said that correct. If not, please correct me. Thank you, whoever posted that in the comments, by the way. If you don't know, this is our biggest field here. It is giant, so. Yeah. Trevor, yep, thank you. That's where you can find it at. I, I like giving out the Facebook site because uh, the modders put a lot of hard work in these mods. Like, that detail right there takes some serious time and effort. So I like giving them full credit. If you give them to the .com sites, then they, they don't get all their credit. They don't get that... Uh, lights on their Facebook channel or site yeah you're <laughs> that's true that's true I never usually say anything correctly I'm sorry I got a country accent hey zip code yeah the nurses all the hospital employees, everyone that works in healthcare, definitely are the true saviors in today's world. Uh, me and Clutch were just together on FSN the other night, so uh, we uh, we're gonna. I have don't have that video edited yet. So I'm going to try to get that edited and get it out there. Just so you know, uh, man, did we ever mess up. I, uh, I feel pretty stupid right now on FSN. Just, I mean, FSN is like a really fun, if you have a PC and you like playing Farming Simulator, I recommend anybody do it, but like just learning all that stuff and trying to outsmart somebody is like really hard if that makes any sense because there is so much stuff you can do on there like it really brings uh, playing farming simulator for multiplayer into another realm recommend it to anybody unfortunately it's not on console yet but it is for PC players out there It is bad on our farm. You just finished up corn. Wow. Country Boy 28. That name sounds familiar. I think, uh, Country Boy 28. I think I talked to you before.
Get a nice big cut out of this field. Yeah, Spencer TV took our land. So there's a story behind that. My my FSN site. So when you log into FSN, you get like a site. And that's where you could see auctions, live auctions and all that stuff. Uh, mine wasn't set up right. So all these live auctions and all that stuff, I wasn't even seeing it. I did not know the land right beside me was for sale ever because I couldn't see it on my site, which really hurt me and Clutch. Like our site, we share the site because we're on the same team, wasn't set up right. So we couldn't, we couldn't buy an extra field if we wanted to because we couldn't even see it, we couldn't bid on it, we couldn't do anything. So it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. It all got fixed now. Now we're probably going to have to purchase a field on the other end of the map. Yeah, it's all right, though. It's what the game is. I mean, if uh, me and Clutch can somehow pull it off, it'd be like a miracle comeback. You're welcome, Quadmaster. Uh, this harvester is a FS-17 harvester. Yeah, I do think I remember this harvester in FS-17. They did change uh, the textures to FS-19. So if you guys don't, I don't do a lot of modding, but uh, you can really tell the the harvesters or the tractors or equipment that the, hasn't been changed over correctly. And it looks like some of these textures have been changed over. Could use a little bit of work still, but it's pretty good. We have a uh, new John Deere 8RT. Wow, that's pretty cool. So never really drove uh, a track tractor too often. So we always had all the farms I worked on and our farm we always had Case, basically tired tractors. Neighbors had the track tractors, but I never rode with them. You know, it probably would be smarter just to drive over here with the harvester and unload right here. But that's what you get for thinking, huh? Uh, how come I don't release a video every day because I put a lot of effort into every one of my videos and I work full-time in the military So I just don't have that much time So I, I am sorry. I don't get to post more sooner or later. I do plan on posting every day, but I'm not gonna put half effort videos out there just to post every day so I guarantee every one of my videos that I post, I at least spend in game three to four hours playing, I'm getting it set up, getting everything just right. So, and then you edit that down to a half hour. If that makes sense. So, I'm not going to try to put bad content out there just to post every day. I wish I could. I will do it one day, but right now uh, I barely get any sleep as it is. Oh, 
a Ford 5200. Your late uncle served in the Air Force. Well, thank him for his great service. I'm going to dump the rest of this in this uh, truck over here. go why don't I play Fortnite so to be honest I used to play first shooter or games like that I, I never played Fortnite to be honest it was uh, it's just not really for me but uh, I kind of enjoy just playing games that I can relax because that's why I like playing Farming Simulator. You don't really have to think too hard at it. It's almost, it's a game you could just play. You don't have to, you know, it's not rush, rush, rush like work is. Because all that rush, rush, rush just reminds me of work. Uh, this stream, it's going to go, I'm going to try to do it for at least an hour and a half. You're welcome, Dennis. Tractor Boy, your dad served in Iraq. Well, thank him for his service. Am I near eastern North Carolina? No, I'm in South Carolina. So I'm uh, your uh, sister state. Jared Pear, get a shout out. Thank you, Stefan. We got the tank filling up here. So, who here never wants to leave the 80s on this server? Who here here wants to go to the 90s and leave the 80s? tell you what I kind of I'm kind of digging the 80s kind of really like it but it, I know we got to freshen up the content we got to do new content and all that but uh, I'm gonna miss the 80s all right thank you Mercury I grew up in Nebraska so that's where I did all my farming at. Nebraska, plains of Nebraska. The Corn Belt. Thank you, Mary. 80s all the way. Oh, we have one person wants to go to the 90s. Let's go 90s. So after this season, the plan is to go to the 90s after this season, if that makes any sense. So after the winter next year, well, if you think technically it's like 1989, at least some of the YouTubers are playing that way. So next year would be the 90s anyways. Who is in the truck game? Mm, not sure what you mean by that. I'm gonna run down here because I uh, left off down this field so I don't mess this field up too bad. I do like the corn textures, but I'm not a fan of that. I do like orange corn, so I'm not a fan of, what did this be, like wet corn or something? I'm not sure. High moisture corn. I mean, that would do a number, that would definitely be hard on a harvester running that wet corn through. If you look at the head, it gets like yellow while it goes through it, which is kind of weird. 
Where's Grant? Grant was just on the server, actually. He ended up getting off. I don't know where he went. So, everyone knows I uh, spoiled the beans. You'll probably see Grant will have a new 80s video out here soon. Grant was on videotaping earlier. And I really need a helper on here. It'd be kind of nice to have a grain cart runner. Who has the best farm on the server? Well, that's easy. Me. No, I'm just joking. I don't know. Uh, are you... Are you talking like the best looking farm? It's alright, Allison. Get a shout out, Luke. probably just going to empty this directly into our new semi here. Is our new semi full? It doesn't appear full, but it seems like it might be full. really don't like this gearbox mod they have on here. It's really hard to control. Heard you and Stevio stole Buck's land on FSN. Uh, that was done fair and square. I guess technically, yeah, it might, you might consider that. Hunter Trent, shout out. Uh, we are just harvesting here. First of the harvest, 1980. 1980s harvest. Corn harvest, I should say. I might put some of this into windrows. Might actually start doing that right now get a little make some money off some bales off this field I don't actually have a baler so I'm gonna have to figure out something to do around baling how's my day been day has been one of them uh, bad Fridays let's just say I was glad to get out of work what year is the Ford which Ford you talking about? Low farming simulator 19 boss Country Boy 28 as a YouTube channel. You might want to check him out sometime. What count by am I in? So this is the 9600. So I know there's been a lot of uh, talk that 9600s weren't made in 1980. So 9600s were able to be purchased off the factory line in 1989. What is my job? I'm basically a manager, if that makes any sense. Why aren't you in the best equipment? Yeah, I like case. So to be honest, I really wanted a 1980s case harvester. I wanted an axle flow. I could not find one that wasn't full of pairs. So, 
Yep, Minnesota. The virus is getting crazy up in Minnesota. So yes, I wanted an axle flow case harvester. Unfortunately, it has to be a 1980s. So to find a 1980s harvester that is not full of airs and isn't that uh, basically that 1660 that came out in FS17 is impossible. Thank you, Andrew. 1990 to 1993. The 1660. Uh, so I used to drive a 1680. And the one in game. I'm sorry, that it isn't sized correctly. That thing is tiny. So if I take that 1660 in game and put it up against this uh, 9600, it's going to look like half the size. In real life, it's not that same way. So I have never played with that 1660 just because the size of it is so unrealistic to me. To do 19 1800s farming yeah maybe that would be kind of cool I mean we do have horses if they could do a whole bunch of mods of like plowing I don't know how good that would be for content because I think that would be kind of boring just a one bottom plow going on a big old field like this Boy 1456 Owen runs 1660s in real life. Yeah, you have to let me know. So play with the 1660 in game and tell me that size correctly, proportion wise. Doesn't seem like it to me. Yep, John Deere, you definitely pay for the green. Do a camping video? That wouldn't be that bad. I might do a camping video once. So, I mean, the channel I post on is literally called Squad's Farm. So, it, it has farms in it, so it's kind of hard to go away from farms but I do like having fun with uh, different stuff you could do in FS 19 or any FS really Ooh, are we gonna miss that tree Ooh, I was kind of close to be honest so if you see we're making rim rows now you can bail that up Put some corn, some, uh, what would we call that? Some corn chaff into the cows for bedding. Dairy cows when we get them finally. Filling up our DMI trailers right now. How did I get this chan- How did your channel get this name? Squad Farms is actually Grant's channel. I just- He just, uh, pays me to post on it. Hey, Carpet Farmer. Just got done working on the farm, man. I tell you what, I can't wait for the day I get to go back, be on the farm, farm life. And I, 
That was the best time of my life, I think. One of the times I worked harder than any other time, but definitely a good time of my life. This is uh, UNRV, Upper Mississippi River Valley, I think. Philip Farms, hello. Uh, farming Tech, where did I get that grain cart? Uh, I'm pretty sure Grant put that on the server. I do not know where he got that at. So I just thought it looked good, kind of fit. In 1980s, they had very few large grain carts back then so being that's kind of a smaller grain cart for the most part and I ended up using that one favorite combine would uh hmm that's a tough one there so I think my favorite harvester is a gleaner when I was younger, I, I, I have the most memories in a glean, gleaner combine. Uh, yeah, you need a computer for FSN. Where's my farm located on the map? Well, how about I just show you instead? So. I'll show you where we're at. We're looking at a map here. So this is my farm. My farm is actually located on field 27. So this is, if you remember this, if you've ever been on this map, this is kind of the old farm right here on this map. So there was a farm there, but I always like building my own farm. This is uh, Grant's farm right here. Jates, Austin's, and Clutch. Clutch has a huge farm, like, he has uh, his spread out all around, and then uh, the buck, the buckaroo, is the only member of this team in Wisconsin. I know this is kind of backwards, but that's where the map is. What is my truck brand? I like GMC. So I like, to be honest, I, I'm not really a brand, a brand loyal type guy. I don't know what's going on with this corn right now. You can see that, that's kind of weird. Why is it doing that? I do not know. Something's acting a little weird on the server right now. I'm not really brand loyal, so to be honest, I like a lot of years, a lot of, because I think every brand has their lemons, every brand has their best years, their best models, their best style of truck, so right now I drive a GMC. Primarily I drive it is because of the transmission and the independent front suspension. Favorite tractor. Hmm. My favorite tractor in real life is probably a, four, a 7140 Magnum. That's just because the memories I have in it. In game, man, there's so many of them out there. I always find a new one that I really like. So I have the 2011 8R, and I'm really liking that right now. So, in game right now, for the next five minutes, it's JHHG's 8R. 
Yep, my favorite case tractor is the 7140 Magnum. What combine are you are we going to get? So to be honest, me and Clutch are almost broke. So I'm thinking we're probably just gonna lease a combine this year, harvester this year on FSN. Let's say that yeah. Farming Simulator Network. So I don't know to be honest, so that on that server we don't get a lot of choices. So, which is kind of bad because you're not going to see a lot of difference between farms and all that stuff. So, I'm thinking just because of the selection and everything, and it's like the only old harvester out there, is we're going to go with like a 9650 or something like that. And that's primarily just because there's not a lot to pick from. Yeah, I like this combine harvester too. See you later, Wyatt. On two twenty eleven. 8Rs, that's pretty cool. Yep, I grew up in a 7140 myself. A good old tractor. There were some good old John Deere's back then too. I believe it was 50 series when the 7140 was coming out. I believe I might be wrong don't I don't think it was 55 until that would come out in like the 7240 do I ever want to move to Minnesota so if I could buy like a huge piece of land I would move to any state I possibly could get a huge piece of land once I get out of the military that is well it looks like we're gonna shut this harvester down for a little while at least because we got to empty our trailers so we're gonna take this old uh, 4050 here it's gonna pull these DMI's they are completely full you can see both these, put them in our grain bins. Look how these old John Deere start up. Yeah, it was pretty hot today in South Carolina. That is correct. Man, I was sweating. And unfortunately, I have one of them jobs that all I get to do anymore is sit in the office and do paperwork. That's why I tired of thinking about retiring out of the military. GG Fresh, GG Fresh, what's up? Kind of like our bin set here, it's kind of old fashioned, I believe. Let's see if we can hit this uh, auger setup correctly. hit this correctly somehow.
What's going on here? Sure looks like I'm perfect right there. Hopefully this is working right. I've used this before and it's kind of hard to hit. Uh, I don't know. Really not the easiest to back up trailers like this. Does anybody still use uh, gravity wagons on their farm? Man, that just doesn't want to hit that trigger right there. So that tractor right there is really built into the bin set, so we can't just go and start it up. Probably should have got a bin set that I could just uh, do an auger in. Alright. I'm going to try it one more time and then I'm going to give up. It's really hard. Everyone, you're witnessing me fail right here. thing here quickly. Try to drop it down some, I guess. I don't know what to do. Well, that ain't working correctly. Hopefully the other truck can get it done. That's unfortunate. Right there, we might have to put a bin, oh, bin down so we can unload. Run over here, get our new eagle, our freshly restored eagle. Oh yeah, listen to her purr. to get some little run for our little bridge here. Make sure we get over it. Oop. Yeah, there we go. I'm hoping this unloads correctly. I don't know what it is with this. The spin setup might have been a fail. Oh, looky there. We can unload. Sweet. Our gravity wagons. We might have to just go and sell them right away. That's unfortunate. Yep, this is a UNRV. Kind of cool how this trailer lifts up with that single cylinder. Pretty cool, I think. Should have probably used that as a snap thumbnail, though. It's cool because it's realistic going down. All that uh, hydraulics in that big actuator would take some time to basically. Uh, Sprule out. Huh, I don't know what we're gonna do with them gravity wagons, that's for sure. That is going to be an issue. I am 
probably have to figure out what to do with them off air. At least we got this old uh, eagle unloaded. anything in that harvester? Can't remember. Get back in this old girl. Start her up. Oh, 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 yeah, there we go. What's up, Andrew? Pull the wagons to the side. You don't that trailer. Pull the wagons to the side. Yeah, I might not be far enough away from it. I don't know that they might, their little uh, chute that runs down, I probably wasn't figuring that in. You're probably right. That truck sounds like a fart. Yeah, it does kind of, doesn't it? It's one of them good farts, so it's not one of them like uncomfortable, weird sounding farts. Uh, I don't know, that's part of the map. I'm not too crazy about it, so, uh, I don't know why it's still green looking, so, I had to, like, look at the map, look back at the corn, I'm like, I was confused. Now, if you're chopping corn, this would be the right corn to chop, but, apparently we are, uh, we are harvesting high moisture corn in the 1980s don't really think that was much of a thing in the 80s. Maybe I'm wrong. Yep, A. Smith, that was a good fart. The international fart. Grant has not been on. Well, I know I'm gonna spoil the beans here, but Grant was right on their server right before I got on here so pretty sure you're gonna see a, a new video come out from him when is your next vid probably tomorrow I do have to do some editing so I'm pretty hungry and tired right now so I work long hours today. Get into Logan's. I don't know what that is. See you later. Biggie. Need to get a 4020. Yeah, the only reason I really didn't get a 4020 is just because I've had that so often. I like to spread the wealth. No one wants to see the same thing over and over again. I've been out of school since 1993. Yep. Been out of school a while too. I mean, they just closed down the school and said gave me a diploma and kicked me out the door. Surprised they gave me a diploma. Link to the harvester, you can find it on Tired Iron Modding Facebook. Something like that Facebook site. Just type in Tired Modding and I'm sure you can fire it, find it. He posted it somewhere on that site.
should get a 8570. I don't know, when was it? I think the 8570s weren't built until the late 90s, wasn't there? I'm gonna try to edit the video I did with Clutch here tomorrow. So you might see it tomorrow, maybe Sunday. I don't, I'm not gonna make any promises. I gotta do a lot of editing to that video. Where did I find that 55 series John Deere? I'm not for sure. I get that question a lot and so the last time I looked at my mod folder, I had, oh, I don't even remember the number. Just because you're all asking me, I'm going to look here quickly. All right, 1,826 mods. So I have 1,826 mods in my, Smart folder, so I really can't remember every mod that I that I have. So I know I get questions a lot on where I find mods. I'm not just trying to be rude, really in flight, and not give you the the link and all that stuff. I just I have so many mods in so many different places. I can't keep up with it. Hey, Big G. What would you rate your brains at? Uh, probably low. It's not on tired of iron modding? I'm uh, pretty sure it is. That sounds like the site I got it off of. Maybe I'm wrong, but... I usually admit when I'm wrong, and there was a few people that said it was on that site too, so and it sounds right to me. Yeah, A. Smith, that's a lot of mods. It's a lot of mod conflicts. People that know the deal with a lot of mods know about that. A 4440. Uh, I wouldn't mind going old John Deere. I like, I like, uh, every brand to be honest, so. Yep, Cody Simmons agrees with me. You might, you probably just have to scroll down his post for a while. This, this was posted a long time ago. Fourteen fifty six. So now that's a good tractor there. How am I liking FSN? So, to be honest, I really enjoy playing it just because it's so. There's so much. It's it's so realistic just because all the stuff you have to control. The only thing I don't like, it's really hard for content. Content creators kind of know that, just... It's fun to play, it's hard for content, because it's, it's different, trust me, when you're sitting, you know, you want to, hey, you know, every video, every thumbnail has to have some drawing power. And FS, FSN is kind of hard to get that. You're going to have to be very creative, let's just say that. But for my own enjoyment, I love FSN. 
If I wouldn't be a modding creator, I'd probably play on that probably full time. Get some 60s and 70s. So when we first came up with this idea, we actually talked about going 60s and maybe, well, 70s and maybe 60s. The problem is we, we are limited to what we have in game. So we have to have a huge selection because we have so many YouTubers here. None of the YouTubers wants to be alike. They don't want to, you know, uh, basically be like the other YouTubers. So everyone wants their own style of equipment, their own style of play and all that stuff. So it's we just couldn't find enough mods out there from 70s and 60s. Uh, yeah, Clutch got his tractor. I don't believe Clutch filmed primarily because he had to go work. You know what Clutch does, he's pretty busy nowadays. Uh, does anybody want me to drive around? I know one person asked. You want me to drive around to the other farms? I can if you want. What PC do I run doing vids? So all my PC information is probably just easier if you look down at my descriptions of some of my videos I posted. It has all my computer specs on there. Hey, thanks, Quentin. Should do an 80s truck and tractor. fix it. Who wants $500? Speaking of that, I heard the president's going to start writing $1,000 checks to help the economy. That's what I heard today. Hey, thank A. Smith. See you later. Kyle wants us to drive around. There's a whole bunch of yeses. Alright, so uh, I tell you what. I'll go unload this harvester I'll let you pick which truck, tractor, I guess, if you really want to drive that slow. Just drive around and go do some snooping. Hopefully that makes everyone happy. lot of people go to squads first drive a llama <laughs> I like it I don't know I'm gonna have to look I don't know if there is a 80s modded lawnmower out there my truck I, I you I believe you mean uh, pickup the new Alice. So I have a 4050, a 4755. I got a, a white tractor. What else do I have? 
I have the the WD three fifteen, I believe. Uh, that sixty seventy Alice. It's not on here right now. I, I don't know if it got taken off of the server. So I did notice something happened to it, unfortunately. So we can't drive that, sorry. So we got the Eagle here. We got the 4755. We got, we got the Chevy truck here, flatbed. We got the... 4050. We got the white 2270. We got the Massey Ferguson little skid steer. Oh, this is what it is. It's a 4W305. So we don't have that uh, Alice everyone wants me to drive. We do have this piece. We've got the Ford. And that is it. What do you want to drive? Pickup. A few people saying pickup. Alice Chalmers lawnmower. Yeah. No for the Chevy flatbed. See you later, Illinois farmer. Chevy's flatbed, Massey, 4050. Oh man, there's so many. Hey, Austin, what's up? 4050 with carts. Maybe we should do like a Goodwill. Should we go up here and haul some corn up to Grant? I mean, we can't dump it into our grain bids, so let's just haul some corn up to Grant. Something to do. See a few Chevy Beast Truck. Skid Steer. 4050 Chevy Chevy. Ooh, man. This is hard to... You guys... Everyone's like even. Chevy Chevy. Alice. 8010. Ford Ford Chevy. Ooh, man. It's so close. I don't even know what to pick. Chevy Ford. Whew. Man. I, I think I'm going to like let half the people down the one I pick. Nothing much. Just uh, the first of the corn harvest. Austin. Chevy Ford. Man. Alright. We're going to pick the Ford and I know half of you aren't going to be happy about it but so many of you. It was so tied. So tied. So close. Alright, so we're going to head down. We're going to head over to Grant's first, because I saw a lot of that people wanted to do. Some more uh, corn over there, ready to harvest. That's green. The roads on this map are little doozies. Very bumpy. Bumpy. All over the place. Oh yeah! One thing I love about this Ford is when it starts up, it sounds so good. That, uh, I think it's a glass pack exhaust. Sounds really good, too. Go up. I think Grant did a great job when he uh, made this uh, farmyard. Windy road right here. Looks like uh, he has some uh, grain that's ready to harvest. No, that's Jake, I think. It's 
like you got some corn and some wheat right next to each other. Drive down his little roadway, he did right in the middle of his field. That's a big jump there. I thought Grant had uh, cattle here. Let's see over here. Huh. Thought for sure he had cattle in here. No cattle? Either that or Grant's cattle died. Does have some trailers here. So, one thing I do like is Grant's uh, his garage here. Oh man, it's not gonna let us in. Don't have a contractor right now. It's got that Massey Ferguson right there. I believe he's actually over here harvesting, maybe? Maybe not. Yeah, he's... Well, maybe not. Looks like he didn't harvest right here. Thought he harvested right there. Sure you'll see a new video he puts up soon. Change to the Cummins. Drive in the field. I don't want to do that to Grant's field. Yeah, I should give him some cows. I thought for sure he had cows. Maybe I'm wrong. It's a good looking uh, Chevy he has right there. Go up. I haven't actually seen uh, Jake's farm up close. We'll go up and see his. Do I own a snowmobile? No, I do not. So I'm personally, I like snowboarding. So if I'm in the snow, I like a board on my feet. So I, I've driven us. Snowmobile before. And just it's really just not really for me that much, so So here's Jake's farm. Definitely an interesting farm. His dogs up here. Dog looks like he's gonna run us off there. Man, looks like Jake needs a uh, pressure washer here. He's got all his equipment parked nicely there. Old Alice. Looks like he built him a nice old. Uh, garage here too. Driving in his field here. What a bad looking uh, farmyard. Kind of like that overhang he has there. It's kind of convenient. Anything else you guys want to see? 
Do I like Massey Ferguson's? Yes, I like a few Massey Ferguson's out there. Christy Rain. Thanks for driving the Ford. No problem. I know that that list was like half and half, so it was hard to pick. Couldn't tell which one was winning. Take the Alice. Yeah. I think we'll go down to Clutch's farm. He kind of has an interesting farm if you haven't seen it. It's a ways though. Austin's farm? Yeah, we'll have to go to Austin's. Austin's farm is like, it's like driving to another county over there. Oop, didn't stop. No cop, no stop. When's your birthday? My birthday is June 12th. my favorite tractor brand. I don't really have a favorite tractor brand. I like them all. What kind of truck do you like? I'm not really brand loyal. I'm not that type of person. I believe every company has to earn my purchase every time it, I want to purchase something. So... Like when I go and purchase a truck, I test drive every truck out there. I'm not somebody that has, oh, I'm going to go buy a Mia Ford. I'm just not that type of person. Hopefully we're going in the right direction here. I think this is Clutch's area. Leave his farm. I have to look at the map here. Yeah. Man, Hutch has a big farmyard over here. Do I have Instagram? No, I don't. Hunter Trent, birthday's on August 24th. Kind of like Clutch's uh, wet red buildings he has over here. Kind of nice. Kind of different looking buildings. Kind of got them set up right. I don't know if... Are these in game? I don't know if them buildings are in game or not. There's a lot of people that drive that 8820. Personally, I'm not too much of a fan of that mod. I wonder. I think that was in game. Maybe I'm wrong, but or in map, I should say. It's got a nice big building there. That looks pretty cool. A little drive up he has here. That's where all his tractors is. He has, and looks like. Uh, Clutch could use a pressure washer too. Over here. Wow, look at this. Look at this. Now, that takes talent. Now, that looks like you just pull it, pulled it out the bottom of a river. That's talent right there.
man. That's when you can tell somebody didn't, uh, basically... They didn't do a FS17 to 19 mod correctly. It's probably... N just take the dirt texture, the mud texture out of the mod. It'd be better than that. Devin, hey. See, uh, this over here. Got a few buildings. These look like the modding welt buildings here. The dairy buildings. Got his truck here. He's definitely got a big farmyard. Got a big, looks like a horse barn here. A couple trucks and trailers. I think up this road is his house. Kind of an interesting farmyard. He definitely builds a lot on it. Yeah, so his house is up here. Got his garage. Sits up high. Looks like this is where his hired hand lives. He shuns him down here in the bottom. Uh, what days do I normally post? So I've trying to been posting usually. I post on Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I think I'm going to kind of stick to that until I get more time to make quality videos. So if you want to know, I always post on the weekends. I usually post uh early morning late afternoon and on the weekdays it's usually uh three o'clock eastern time uh, looks like uh who is this oh is that Looks like he's doing some bailing over here. Clutches. It's one thing we kind of missed out in the 80 series. We missed out on bailing. Do I go to church? Yes, I do go to church. What's up? Go to Bucks. Bucks is across the map, so I might cheat and just uh, hop over there. So, I don't think you guys want to see... Ooh. Gas pedal got stuck there. I don't think you guys want to see me uh, drive all the way over there over the road right now. I live in South Carolina. Alright, so I'm going to hop over to Bucks and then we'll probably end this stream here quickly. I know I'm gonna cheat. Oh, why does it? There we go. So Buck is mostly doing grass. Looks like he has some. He makes some interesting hay bales. His baler he has there, that's for sure. Different. Buck has some cattle over here. If 
speed wagon there. Ooh. Looks like he has some dairy cattle. He is, uh, he's kind of going small this time around. If that, I know he's just doing grass and cattle. And he's trying not to purchase a John Deere. Kind of like his, uh, what is this, a Chevy? GMC. With that wear all the way around it, though, it kind of looks good. Kind of definitely fits that 80s style right now, I think. Looking good. He's got his old white Trans Am there. That's good looking. He's got his little mower here. It's got his uh, narrow front. Would that be a 806? That's a good looking tractor right there. It's got the old baler. I don't know. I can't even read that. I can't really even see that name on there. Got the New Holland. 11.6. Six. 16 foot. It's got the... Old the Ford 9600. Man, we got a 9600 on our farm too. It's just a John Deere. And the Minneapolis man, Malene. But uh, thank you all for watching. Probably gonna get off here. So I appreciate all you guys watching. Uh, thank you for all the support. I hope. Uh, just make sure you guys all practice the high five stay safe out there Hopefully you all make it through it without getting sick But thank you for watching. See ya